a cat has a finely sharpened knife that only gets used occasionally. Yes, and but dogs are always out. Dogs are there. dogs got like a butter knife that yeah. gets used for everything, and it's just <laughs> clanging around. Yeah. Hi, Science Pals. Welcome back to the Random Theory Podcast. Welcome back. Today, we're like back to our regular scheduled random podcast ideas. Yeah. Claws, nails, and more. Man, (laughs) firing into it. Uh, We're not messing around. No, this is a uh, listener's recommendation for something they were curious about. Good, good, good. Because we were were trying to do one every week. Yes. This is another listener podcast topic. And I really love this one because they actually... uh, noticed something in their environment and wrote into us oh yeah so listen big. they knew we could be the people that came and found the answer for them before you read that should i read the email oh yeah yeah yeah. okay since that's the, the our email science pal we need to read yeah theirs. since that's the topic of the podcast we're gonna read an email um first somebody wrote in random theory pod at gmail.com write us um with your podcast topic ideas and ratings and reviews and just say hi this person is just saying hi which is great too i love that they said hi my name is ali and i've been watching t-core for years hi ali hi ali uh i was super excited to hear you that you guys made a podcast i just really wanted to thank you guys for all that you do and you are amazing i really appreciate it and love you guys heart emoji heart emoji hashtag you guys are awesome hashtag rtog then uh the little the little dudes that we never know what pals? they're doing. no the the little um, the Almenheimer flask the flask no what are or they called the beaker? beaker yeah I don't know <laughs> something science related so they're a science pal we love the science pals uh, thank you so much Allie for writing in um, that means a lot especially so that she's OGRT big time yeah that's legit wow and and the fact that she says she watched Tico for years excited that we made a podcast like yeah. that's great i'm so glad that you're excited that we did a podcast and you came <laughs> over and, and are and are listening that's we appreciate you Allie, great. more than you know yeah thanks for hanging out with tcor for as long as you have big time like that's that's huge you don't know what that means to us that means the world to josh and i yeah all right what you got okay my science pal is dragon raider 0715 nice uh they said podcast idea and joke okay This is a great podcast. It explains the science behind all sorts of awesome stuff. Here's my podcast idea. My dog was sitting on my lap earlier, and instead of one solid point on her claw, it was shaped sort of like a shovel upon closer inspection. Do you have any idea why that is? I also have a joke. Why don't aliens celebrate Christmas? Oh, timely. Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. Why? They don't want to give away their presents. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) That's a good one. <laughs> that is a that's a good one. I've never heard that. That's pretty good. I know. I've never heard that one either. That was yeah. a good one. Good sense of humor. Good. Well, science pal Dragon Raider 0715. Yeah. Uh we actually have an answer for you. Shovel claws. Shovel I claws. Have never heard of that. So have you never looked at your dog's claws? I guess not. Oh, I have. Which is shocking because my dog, <laughs> she will if you go and stand next to her and she's sitting down. She will walk or she will just sit there and give you her paw to hold. <laughs> and like when I'm, it, it, the dog was originally my wife's like. And it's your adopted dog. It's my, yeah, my dog. I, <laughs> I married into the dog. Um, <laughs> you got, your gift was the dog. The dog, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny when I first started dating my wife because her whole family was very used to, you know, this, this is what this dog does. Yeah. But I would sit there and she'd give me her paw and she does like claws you know i mean because dogs don't they can't retract their claws but and just sit there and i would sit for like 10 minutes just holding her paw and i thought it was the weirdest thing and her family was like yeah it's just yeah that's what she does and i was like how long can i sit here (laughs) wait so you're just like sitting and she just comes over oh yeah comes over and like you know some dogs will like if you're watching tv oh yeah you have to she'll hold come, her paw she'll come and she'll come like some dogs will come and like put their chin yeah, on yeah, you, yeah. you know the, the nuzzle and she does that occasionally but no she'll come and just she'll just go like you know swat at you to give her, <laughs> give you give you the paw and you can grab it and she that's the thing like if you grab her paw she will she doesn't like pull it away or anything she will she's just like, sit there thank you yeah she's like thanks thank you for holding my paw <laughs> It's so funny. That is hilarious. Yeah. But so I'm shocked that I have never closely inspected her nails because I see them all the time. (laughs) Honestly. Okay. So 
are they dog claws or are they nails? Well, that's true. I just used nails. Yes. But let's hear about that. Yeah. So the term nails is often used interchangeably with claw, mm-hmm. especially when talking about trimming the nails of the dog. Have you ever seen that happen? Yes. It's brutal. We have to trim Ray's nails. Yeah. Um, and it's horrific every yeah, time. I don't know a dog that is yeah, freaking out when freaking you out, go yeah. to like do their paws. Well, because we, we did it with her our dog uh like at a groomer yeah and they like use a file and like grind them down Mm -hmm. and i was like oh my gosh how is this not i mean we do with our nails like girls we do that like we file them down that's true you do use the boards to file them down yeah yeah but you're not using like a dremel to like no (laughs) no my nail tech does though but like i feel like as a dog that would just be like really traumatic yeah i I don't know. know how it wouldn't be you know yeah so It's fine to interchange the term as long as it is understood. You can use the term. (laughs) Sorry. You're giving the okay. I just think it's so funny how this is like, you can use this term as long as it is absolutely understood that the dog's claws have some different properties that need particular care. (laughs) Like, I just think that sentence is like... You can use it as long as you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But I also just like don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why it has to carry that much baggage behind it. Right. So claws actually contain uh, nerves and blood vessels while our nails as humans don't. Yeah. So as a human, our nails are basically just like growing. Basically human nails um, and toenails. So both nails. Mm-hmm. All the nails. Uh, are made from skin cells. Yeah. And they're basically the same kind of appendage as like a hair. You know, a hair is also just growing, growing from your... you. Yeah. yeah, but it's not. It has no feeling. It has, it's, it's just coming out of you, but it's not a part of you in a way. Yeah. The part that we call the nail is technically known as a nail plate. Hmm. Um, and the nail plate is made from a hard substance called keratin. Which is also in your hair. Which is also in your hair. Yeah. Which is why, yeah, I mean, that's those two things are kind of, the growth of those things are very interlinked because mm-hmm. they're made of the same thing. Basically, the big thing to note here is we don't have any blood vessels going to our nails yeah. and we don't have any nerve endings. There's no nerve. Could you nails. imagine <laughs> trying to trim your like thumb and you nick a blood vessel? That makes me actually hurt. It'd be rough. Like thinking about that hurts. Yeah. So with that being said, so there's nerves and blood vessels in claws and our nails don't. So that's basically like the big thing between claws and like nails. That's why when you trim a dog's claws, they'll sometimes bleed with it's cut too short. Uh, And it's also why the dog will cry or pull away during claw trimming. Yeah, you got to be, you have to be really careful. Really careful. If you go too short, they start bleeding They start bleeding. It's really, that was, uh, when I was younger, like a, a little kid, I had <laughs> guinea pigs and you have to trim their nails. Uh-huh. But their theirs are very much more like claw like. They're they, like cat. They're like sharp and well, but they they don't retract, you know. But but they do look like cla- yeah. cat claws. But it is incredibly easy to hit that blood vessel. Mm-hmm. And so that would happen occasionally because you I would use like they have like scissor yeah. kind of things for and that is traumatic as a little kid, like holding this little guinea pig tripping or you know clipping the nail and it starts bleeding and the guinea pig starts like freaking out squealing squealing and i'm like oh i'm sorry i'm trying to help you what was your guinea pig's name (laughs) dude the most unoriginal names in the world i had the first i had two the first one i got i don't even remember how young i was but pretty young and i decided that it was gonna be my buddy right so its name was buddy (laughs) and then the second one was named joey i don't know why Joey? But I had Buddy and Joey. Buddy, that's so buddy, great. Yeah. <laughs> what what a lazy little kid. I'm like, well, it's my buddy, so yeah. he's Buddy. I uh, had a goldfish named Goldie. So oh, right on. Yeah. So yeah, you get it. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Yeah, we're good. I understand. Cool. Yeah, as we mentioned, claws are attached to bone. So humans have nails which are dull, flat, and sit on top of the end of our fingers and toes. And like we talked about, they're made of keratin and they help protect our fingers. Could you imagine our fingers without nails? I feel like it'd be really gross. I feel like they just look like these nubs. They would just be soft, squishy nub ends. We're, sorry, we're both, if you're listening <laughs> to the podcast, we're both just looking at our fingers right now, like trying to imagine it. Yeah. And I just really can't. Like the top would be so weird. Yeah. I mean, I get, yeah, they're there to protect 
the top of your finger the top of your finger and so without that you know i guess are you gonna be like scratching yourself up all the time and i don't know I don't know. Yeah, but they help protect our fingers where claws, in contrast, come to a point and protrude from the end of their toes. So for humans, our nails grow from the cuticle, which is a structure uh, in the skin that supports, feed, and promotes nail growth. And claws come directly out of the fallon bone at the end of the dog's toes. Dogs have an extended quick, which means uh, the fleshy, sensitive part of their paw extends beyond their nail bed. Ours, on the other hand, uh, ends at the end of our nail beds. Because the dog's quick it sends into their claw, the structure of their nails is tubular while ours is solid. It's tubular, bro. Yeah, because it has to wrap around that like blood vessel. Yeah. So what you're seeing like in that moment when your dog was had its claws on you was yeah. it's open. I think it was the quick. The quick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, na- this is just, this is going to, I'm just sitting here staring at my nails. It is so weird. Like, if you think about it. It's protruding out. It's growing out of your body. We have a hard, whatever, mineral, like, not They're mineral, like teeth. but it's like, it's, yeah, just growing out of the end of our fingers. But it never stops growing. Never stops growing. Just keeps going. Just keeps going. But it's not like, there's not feeling in it. Like, it, it's so no. weird. They make it feels weird talking about them. Like, my nails feel weird talking I, I, about them. I feel them. like self conscious about my hands. I like, know, what do so I do with gross. my hands? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, there are nerves in your dog's nails, and yeah. they are concentrated in the underside of dog nails, the part known as the quick, along with blood vessels supplying the nail. Hmm. Uh, and they need the nerves and vessels to provide nourishment to the claw to facilitate healthy growth very interesting it is yeah. so this part of the nail is extremely sensitive so if you accidentally cut it like we've been talking about you yeah. can cut straight through these nerves and the blood vessels yikes could you imagine cutting a nerve Ooh, the pain there mm. yeah so you have to be really careful when trimming your dog's nails uh you can see the dog's nail quick through the claw if your dog has white toenails and easily avoid trimming too low i have not seen that on a, on a dog because Really? Oh, well, my dogs, I don't think, because Piper has black nails. Gotcha. Um, Ray has white nails. She has white nails. Yeah. So you've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. But the guinea pigs have something similar. Yes. And they, you could see it, but it's so small that it's very hard to yeah. avoid. But <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. It is really cool to like yeah. look at a dog, like look at your dog's nail and you can like see. You can see an inside bit. Yeah. That contains. It comes out like halfway through. Like it comes it's out far. pretty far. It's far. Yeah. Way farther than you would anticipate. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, like you're talking about with Piper, her black nails. Yeah. You can't see the quick. No. So you have to be super careful. So it's even harder. To yeah. Them. Yeah. The dog's nail contain a blood vessel and nerve that's encased in a thick and hard keratin. So the same thing we got. Yeah. Just but, really but thick and yeah, hard. Yeah. But theirs is yeah, even thicker and harder and... Yeah. Also contains blood vessels and nerves. And the nerves and blood vessels of the nail typically end before the keratin shell. So you may notice the rest of the nail is hollow or even filled with dirt. Sometimes you have to like clear it yeah, out. You got to get in there and dig out some yeah. dirt. Yeah. So a close up view of a dog's nail reveals that they're shaped sort of like a soccer cleat or mm-hmm. like the shovel that you were talking about. Dragon, Dragon Raider. Dragon Raider. I, yeah. No, Rider. Dragon Rider. Dragon sorry. Rider. Dragon Rider. Yeah. So one of the purpose of these cleats is to give your dog traction as they're running on grass. And some dogs like terriers or duchess who are originally bred to find small birds and tunnels, like they love to dig and they wouldn't be nearly as good at digging if it weren't for their claws having that shovel shape like they were talking well, about. That makes sense. It does. They got little shovels on their paws. They do. Yeah. Um. So now we're going to talk about, have you ever smelled your dog's paw? <laughs> Can't say that I have. Really? Never? You have? I love smelling Ray's feet. Well, again, kind of weird because she's always shoving it in my face. <laughs> yeah. But. Today when she grabs your paw, will you please smell I'm gonna it? I'm going to have to take a whiff. Yeah. I have. I okay. don't know if that makes me weird or that makes you normal or makes you weird and me normal that Hard I smell dog paws. Anyway. Right in. Let us know. Yeah. Are if you you're a dog <laughs> paw sniffer. Team dog paw sniffer. <laughs> Yeah. So dogs af- actually have a scent gland on their paw. Really? So when people smell paws, they say it smells like Fritos. 
Fritos. Yeah, like it has that sm- that salty, like oily, salty. Yes. Smell? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's like a Frito. Sure. So when your dog is scratching in the yard or on the carpet when you visit a friend, they're doing more than just sharpening their claws. So dogs have a scent gland on their paw pad, and they like to spread their scent, especially after they go pee or poop. Like sure. marking their territory, obviously. Yeah. So when you see them scratching the ground after they pee or poop, they're sending a smell mail to other dogs that may come by. Really? Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. So it's like a form of social communication. And some dogs seem to really enjoy scratching the ground after going potty. <laughs> <laughs> and some dogs may scratch the ground where they found another dog's area or they may start scratching after another dog joins the household in a way to mark their territory. Okay. So then this is good. This is helping my dog's case because okay. I always thought like a dog when they go to the bathroom and then they start kicking was like some evolutionary thing of like covering up their scent. Their well and like where they went, right? Uh. So then I would just would just give my dog crap because she'd go to the bathroom and then like walk f- a ways and then yeah. start kicking. I'm like, you are nowhere near where, where you, you went. went. <laughs> <laughs> and also you're just kicking up a couple blades of grass. What's going yeah. on here? So this is helping her case. She's just trying to communicate. Yeah, she's telling the other dogs in the neighborhood. She's like, what's up? I just went here. Back off. This yeah. is my territory, my corner to go pee and This poop. is where I go. This is me. Yeah. It's really interesting. You that know, is, yeah. it's how dogs track one another. It's how they communicate. Like yeah. the scent is everything to them. Hmm. Ray does very... not do that. Really? No, she does not scratch around. She just runs really fast. <laughs> I can't even picture Ray. Her legs are so small. I can't picture her kicking. Like, kicking. like if she did, it would just be little like tiny little kicks. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine her like swimming, doing like the butterfly, like <laughs> kicking her little legs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ray's not a good swimmer. It's really bad. <laughs> Okay, so now we've talked about dogs. So what about cats? They actually have this special ability to retract their claws. Are you a cat person? No. We talked about this. You don't no. like cats. No, I do not like cats. Did you have a cat at all growing up? Yes. You did. I did. I had a cat growing up. Her name was Shigua. <laughs> oh, we had talked about this yes. because my wife had... Sagwa. Sagwa. Yeah. Yeah. So I had Shigua and she was an indoor-outdoor cat, mostly outdoor. She hunted a lot of mice. Sure. She loved hunting mice. Yeah. I just like I just I just cannot do a litter box. Yeah. I think they are disgusting. I don't matter what the litter box is, where it is, how often you clean it, it just creates a smell in the house. There's always a funk. Yes. Wherever whatever room that thing is. Is there's, it there's a funk. There's a weird thing smell, going on. And yeah. I don't enjoy it. Therefore, I am not no a cat. cat person. I agree the litter box is weird. Um I do like cats. Um, I've always liked cats just cause they are so funny and just, yeah. they just do the weirdest stuff. And that for me, it's so weird. Like I find joy in animals in a very strange, like <laughs> most people like dogs and stuff. They're like, Oh yeah. I like the companionship. And like, yeah. I'm like, I like just to watch them and see like the weird stuff they do. <laughs> yeah. Like I like that my dog holds my hand and it's so weird and funny. Like that's what brings me joy about animals. Yeah. But so like I would totally be on board with a cat, but the shedding can't do the shedding and there's not, I mean, unless you get like a weird hairless cat, which no thanks for me. So anyway, why do cats retract their claws? Yeah. One reason is it allows cats to move quietly. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah, they're you know not, how you can always chattering around. Yeah, them. you know how you can always hear your dog, yep. like no matter where they are, you hear the. Ch- ch- yeah. Oh, ch- yeah. Ch- uh, where cats, because they can walk on the pads of their toes, you don't hear them. Yes. So by retracting their their claws, they move so quietly. Whether it's through your house, on the floor, or through the jungle, it's pretty much silent. Uh, and with their claws out, they would be it would be much easier for their prey to hear them coming. Yeah, that's interesting. I had never thought about that, but it's yeah. totally true. You can always hear a big floppy dog <laughs> coming because they got their claws. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But cat claws actually don't disappear into their paw when they're not in use. Because everyone always thinks that like they retract them all the way in. It's like Wolverine situation. Yeah. Yeah. So instead, the retraction has much more to do with the cat's tendons. So when the paw is at rest, the claws are lifted above the ground lifted lifted oh so in this state they're largely covered by the fur making them difficult to see but if you look closely you can usually see the tip of their paw like poking out through their furry toes i don't know if you've ever looked that close i have and it's actually kind of cool so you see like you see their paw 
And it's just like a couple little things like sticking out of their like you're, you're looking at animal paws far more than I am. I right? am just I'm you're that kind of person you're though. <laughs> I am just <laughs> You're like, what's going on in here? You're yes. really looking Have you ever grabbed like a cat's paw and you can like squeeze the pad of their foot and just by squeezing them, because their claw is attached to the tendon, yeah. It you can like push like them, them in and out. I have not attempted it's that. It's very interesting. Because cl- cats are uh, on the subject of them being so weird. <laughs> And this was, uh, this is not my joke. It was taken from the YouTuber Ryan George. Check him out. He's hilarious. <laughs> but he was talking about having the first person to have a cat. And he's talking about like petting their belly and it's okay until suddenly it's not it's anymore. Not. But that's the thing. Like, it, I don't, I don't want to touch a cat's paw because I feel like they would be cool with it. And then suddenly they're not. <laughs> it's not okay. And then I'm like shredded to pieces. <laughs> so no, I, I have not gotten in and closely examined a cat paw. Oh, I have. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cool. So when cats need their need to use their claws, it flexes the tendon in their paw, mm. exposing the claw and making them available for use. Okay. But how do they use their claws? So um, I imagine like you have your hand. Like, it's like we have the tendons, like when you tighten your hand and like you make your fingers really stiff. Yeah. Like that's what I imagine it is for a cat, like for their claw. Like think when they like go to like scratch something. Yeah. It's like when you tense your hand, it would be like your tendons getting like really aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel it? <laughs> yeah. Any listeners, uh, Grace and I are just <laughs> sitting here like flex, flipping our wrists and flexing our... <laughs> like you go from like very lackadaisical yeah, to like... like <laughs> yeah, sure. I but you, you flex your tendons and like yeah. everything gets really tight. Yeah. So I, I think you. that's like what it's it would feel like for a cat. Okay. Um, but how do they use them and why do they use their claws? Obviously, they use them for hunting and protection. And cats will also use their claws to scratch objects, which is a way of make, marking them as their own. Mm. And claws actually help cats climb. Sure. Also, like, yeah, marking the, the scratching on something. Yeah, cats are just so weird. Like uh, so They just, like, start kneading. They just, like, well, that's a funny thing. When a cat, like, gets on you and just kind of kneads into yeah. your belly or whatever. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? It's, you know. <laughs> But then I was curious. I was like, why do cats have retractable claws, but dogs don't? Good question. Cats have to retract their claws because their needle sharpness Mm. and the retracted claws won't get worn. That's how they stay sharp. Oh, that makes sense. Because they're not like dogs where they're over there clomping around on the floor, like always keeping their nails dull. Um, Because they only extend them when they have to. Yeah. A cat has a finely sharpened knife that only gets used occasionally. Yes. But dogs are always out. Dogs are. Dogs got like a butter knife that gets used for everything. And it's just (laughs) (laughs) clanging around. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to clip the toenails of your cat. um, But you do on your dog. No, you should not. That's a big, uh, that's a hot topic of I don't think a cat should ever be declawed. Yeah. That could be a hot take. You can agree with me. You cannot. But yeah. I will stand by that because I don't think a cat should. You're literally like we just talked about cutting into their bone. You're taking yeah. away their tendon and fingertip. It's not natural. And like, you know, we talked about like they have the scent glands in their paws. You know, like they're using that to mark yeah. places. And then if you take that away, then they can't do that. Mm-hmm. And that's. A, a thing they want to do and need to do yeah i'm so. i'm really not here for yeah. declawing a cat yeah if you have sure okay well that's you know, your choice and opinion done done. but i just don't think a cat should ever be declawed like they yeah, use yeah. that for protection they use it for hunting yeah. they use it it's like taking away someone's dignity a little bit yeah like you're taking away the thing that they're supposed to do. They're supposed their thing. How are they supposed to collect mice and give them to yeah. you? Yeah, on their on your front porch. That they was can't do that with that their was little, what our cats. Yeah. It was always like you'd open the back door and there'd be a a, a dead mouse sitting yeah. there and you're like, oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, I guess. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> or like a dead bird. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dead bunny. Dude, I saw one of our cats take a bird down one time. It's gnarly. It was gnarly. <laughs> Wild America yeah, out there. It was like this floppy cuddly cat and then snapped and just attacked a bird yeah it was crazy <laughs> that's awesome yeah but yeah that's claws claws man claws nails and more claws nails and more hopefully we answered well that not question. me but you uh dragon rider hopefully you got the information you needed yeah the shovel shape that makes sense it does they gotta dig they need it so they have little shovels yeah 
my nails would not be useful for anything. No. Here's a question. I'm going to ask this for for the men out there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ask away. Are the nail the are false nails uh, is that hard? Does it actually make things difficult? Yeah. Yeah. I don't get false nails. You don't get false no. nails. Those are your real nails. These are my real nails grown out very long. But does that make it difficult? Like growing them beyond uh, the point of the finger. Sometimes I can only do things with mine at a certain length. Especially with T-Core with how hands-on I am. This is basically like my max length. Yeah. I don't go any longer than this yeah. just because I can't because I can't do things. Yeah. So it makes some things easier. It makes some things more difficult. I don't do fake nails though because they hurt my fingers um, and I can't do anything with them. I don't enjoy them. I feel sure. like they make my fingers really thick. And I mean, I'm it looks, like, yeah, you know, I've seen like, I think my wife has gotten false nails before yeah. and it, yeah, I'm, I've always like, how is, I, I couldn't even... Yeah. Like even when mine just get a little too long, a little long, I haven't cut them for a bit. I'm like, I feel like I'm snagging them on everything. And yeah. Just... The second I can start hear, hearing them when I'm like typing on my mm, keyboard, yeah. I'll go and like shorten them a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fake nails actually do make everything harder because think about how thin your nail is and then you add acrylic on top of it. Yeah. So it makes everything a little thicker so you can't get underneath things easy. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I always get my nails done because number one, they're always on camera. Oh, and I sure. feel like having can't have gross, nails. gross nails on camera is just jank. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then sure. number two, like I used to be a nail picker and biter and- Oh yeah, you've said this. They would break. Yeah. doing what we do because i mean we're using chemicals all the time and yeah. they would just like weaken my nails dry them out yeah. and so i um started going and getting them done just so they wouldn't to look prevent that jank on camera yeah. and so that i would like stop picking it's been successful i broke the habit completely which i nice. never i've had this habit since i think i like as long as i can remember yeah i was like a nail biter picker yeah everything and then this stopped it so yeah, well, that's my advice go. to anyone listening. Like the bites and picks are now. Yeah. Like you can go get a clear coat done and like no one will ever see it. Or like there's stuff that you can put on your nails that makes them spicy or whatnot. Spicy. Yeah. Like wow. so if you go to put it in your mouth, like oh. it makes your mouth on that's fire. That's interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. It took me, I will say it took me probably ten years. To stop. To stop. Wow. Because I would I would stop for a little bit and then I would start back again. Yeah. And then I would stop and then it was no, just like this constant cycle. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then finally one day I was like, I'm just going to constantly go to the nail salon and get my nails done. Yeah. And maybe they'll grow. And they did. And then I broke the habit because I was That's like, good. I'm not going to pick thirty forty dollars of <laughs> it was a, something off my nails at that so. point it was like a, a value thing money yeah, thing <laughs> i was like i'm not doing it it's not happening no that would probably so. work for me if i had that problem i'd be like no i spent a lot of money on these i can't yeah you know, yeah the yeah. first couple times i the sec they would start to grow out and i would pick immediately and be like they're grown out like i can yeah. see the end of them and i would pick it and then i was like you've got to stop because i was like yeah. ripping my nail and so i was like no more could you imagine if you had a nerve in there and a blood vessel <laughs> Hey <laughs> terrible terrible <laughs> terrible things well yeah there we are claws and nails and more claws nails and more well what a great pod that was fun if you have a podcast topic that yes. you want us to discuss or yeah. do a little research for you you can leave us a rating and review it really helps the podcast guys yeah. our goal for this next upcoming year is to grow the podcast yeah. significantly and yeah. we can only do that with your guys's help so yeah. please send this to your friends your family your favorite podcast episode we've got 52 plus out there now i think um, this one is like 58 yeah or something. so you've got 58 choices if you've listened to them send them your favorite one a lot of p ones out yeah, there lots of p lots of poop <laughs> lots of random ones just good stuff yeah yeah. Get them hooked on the podcast. Yeah. We've also got something new coming. Yes. Next year. Yes. We're going to do a midweek mm-hmm. uh, short episode. Yeah. Snappy science. Snappy science. And that's going to be, it'll be audio only. So if you're watching on YouTube, you got to go start listening. But you're going to, yeah, you can go listen to any, <laughs> literally anywhere you can get a podcast. Um, and it's going to only be one of us. Yep. And it's just going to be a very quick little random science tidbit. Thing. Yeah. Little whether fact. it's happened in the week and whether yeah. it's happening in the month, like it'll just be a quick little like five minute 
yeah snappy science ordeal to mm-hmm. get your brain thinking and get you through the day yeah i'm excited for it it's gonna be fun i, th- I think it'll be good yeah we also in addition to leaving ratings and reviews you can send us an email yes random theory pod at gmail.com we are yeah actively we read one at the beginning of this episode we're reading them um some of them i'm saving just because we're gonna make episodes out of them if you're concerned that yours hasn't been read i have it here it's in a folder <laughs> where we got it um we're just gonna make we have them like lined out till yep. march or whatever mm-hmm. of, of you know podcast topics so it'll definitely get read keep them coming you guys yeah. we have it we have enough podcast topics and ideas from you guys that we can go all the way to march oh yeah i think like keep them coming i, I think want this... if we put them all out even with what we have now like we could get halfway through the year probably yeah and then i mean yeah if you guys keep them coming we could go the entire year next year with just listener just listener like, just listener things that you guys are curious about yeah which that's what's fun that's yeah. fun for us to like it's reassuring that the stuff we're making people actually want <laughs> want it yeah and want you know ask to hear about it and so. you know you're curious about things like yeah. i never would have looked up things about claws and yeah. known that there's a quip inside of an animal's nail that holds the blood vessels yeah. and nerves but now we know i feel like we need to have a jeopardy thing and it's just like all the facts from the podcast <laughs> and we do like a jeopardy <laughs> and i fail yeah. it probably <laughs> shout out to the christmas episode <laughs> we yeah. can do like a jeopardy i think that would be so a jeopardy fun game could we do like a, I wonder if there's like an online thing that we could do like a live stream, but then all, and it's like a game, like we Ooh, could play a game yeah. with us, but then also like listeners, listeners watching live. That would be fun. That would be interesting. We'll that have, would be we'll really fun. We'll have to look fun. into that because that would be, yeah, that would be really fun. If you guys are into it. Let us know. Let us know. Yeah. Because I'm into it. I'm kind of into that idea. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I guess I, I gotta go look at my dog's paws. Yeah. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah. I'm down for that. Okay. All right. Let's go look at it, the quip. I'm gonna go stare at her paw. That's fine. <laughs> that's Whatever good. it's called. I like it. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good week. <laughs> See ya. Bye.